we are live. Hi. <laughs> Here's your Yo, uh, live on Instagram, no. on uh, Facebook, Facebook, and YouTube. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's a lot of stuff to be live on. <sighs> Welcome Jesus. back, everybody. Hello, we've been gone for a while. Yeah, we've been gone for a while. We've been we've been busy doing stuff. Uh, uh, today's Tuesday. This is uh, Mondays with Michelle. Uh, yeah, Hi. Mondays. It is. It is. It is Monday. <laughs> There's there has been a lot going on here in the world of the house. Uh, two basically two weeks ago. We were at the Mount Baker Legendary Bank Slalom, the 33rd annual. That was awesome. Uh, the second thing, there was an Afton Alps demo where we checked out the 2020 product, next year's stuff. And then lastly, it was the Trolley Bowley event, the Snowboy production event at Trollhagen, uh, basically this last weekend. And that went good. That went really good. But it's been busy. Right? It's been very busy. Yeah. And you I were in Boston. I didn't get to go to any of those things. No. Well, one, that's my fault for being out of town, but. Right. Yeah, I don't know. I just. I didn't get to go. Why didn't I get to go, bro? I don't know. Well, Why you were in Boston. The first one. Stuff. Yeah, the first one I was in Boston. That was fun. I ate, I gained three pounds. Good job. Good job. <laughs> what, was, what was the best thing you had to eat there? What was the best thing I had to eat? Ravioli? Butternut squash ravioli, yeah. Was it? <laughs> <laughs> I love pasta. Uh, yeah, we stayed in a. In like Boston's North End, okay. which is like the Italian district, okay. which is really fun because there's no Italians in Minnesota. Are you Italian? I am. There's like not. I don't meet Italian people oh. very often, so no. It was fun to just like walk around and like be hmm. around all my people. Huh? Is there? <laughs> I, I thought I thought Boston was full of a bunch of Irish. It's Irish both. people. It's both. Yeah. Irish and Italian. Like the major like Caucasian. Uh, like background is Irish, okay. but then the, there's that heavy Italian neighborhood, and there's just so many Italian people on like the East Coast. Got it. Yeah, there is. Are you? Are, are you kind of like Jersey? Are you Irish? I'm Swedish. You're not Irish at all. None. Zero. You're just a ginger Swede. I'm ginger Swede. Fun. And uh, Swedish and Norwegian, like f like basically fifty down the middle. I'm a little bit French. So tall. I'm a little bit French. Okay. I why? I think uh, no, cause so. No, Norwegian. Yeah, like that makes sense. Yeah, I had I was at I was at end uh, This is a funny story. I was at Sturgis. The motorcycle rally. What were you doing at Sturgis? I was, I was riding my motorcycle. You have a motorcycle? What are you talking about? You don't know I have a motorcycle? Did you know they had a motorcycle? Yeah. I had no idea. Yeah, so I rode it out to Sturgis. So anyway, anyway, anyway. So I'm at this bar. I swear to God, I'm throwing axes. They had like this, this axe throwing thing, right? And this dude, this dude just like runs up to me. He's like, you're Swedish. I'm like... I'm like, what? I'm like, what are you, what are you talking about, man? <laughs> He's like, you're you're over six feet tall and you have and you have red hair. He's like, you're you're Swedish. Oh, because Irish people are typically shorter. I guess so. That's funny. Yeah, yeah. What? Oh, do so you watch Game story. of Thrones? What? Do you watch Game of Thrones? Yeah, I do. Okay. That guy. Oh my god, that guy. He's from Norway, though, isn't he? The one that you look like. I'm not sure. You know who I'm talking about. I know exactly who you're, who you're talking yeah, about. I feel like he's Norwegian. He might be. You look him up. You're the guy? Look him up. He's and the crazy fill guy. Us in. The red beard. The red beard guy, yeah. yeah. Will you Google yeah. that, please? He's the crazy guy that likes that, uh, that, that, that yeah, warrior John, lady. Yeah. He's so <laughs> yeah. perfect for that role. Has he's, anyone he's ever great. been more perfect for any role? I don't know. He's pretty good. That's, a good, that's so. a good show. It's a good show. It's a good show. I can't wait. Uh, Giants fan. Yeah. What? Oh, one sec. I'll find it. One second. Thing. We're waiting. So again, well, we're live. This is it's actually Tuesday again, uh, not Monday. Uh, we've been busy uh, doing a lot of stuff. Michelle's actually going. We can do a live next Monday though. Yeah, he's Norwegian. Sorry. He's Norwegian. He is Norwegian. Why did I know that? I don't know. That's weird. Okay, I'm yeah. Not sure. Uh, so next week we can do uh, live again on Monday, and then um, and then you go to Hawaii. Do go to Hawaii. That's cool. Yeah. I'm going to the U.S. Open. When is that? Boom. Uh, March. February, excuse me, February 28th through March 3rd. Okay, perfect. We're gone like the same amount of time. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Wow, everyone's going to miss us so much. Boom, I know. Sorry, guys, <laughs> miss you. <laughs> if, you're, if you're going out to the U.S. Open, say, find me, say what's up. Uh, Burton is sending me out there. Sweet. Boom, thanks, That's Burton. That's cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, should be a good time. Should be a good time. I feel like I need to get like new a new riding outfit, though. Yeah, why? You know, just because it's, it's the U.S. Open. That's true, I've never yeah, seen you in a good. different... Snow pants than you have. What? I've never seen you in like different snow pants that you have. No, I've been I've been wearing the the Burton eight K, whatever pants. Mm -hmm. They're Gore Tex. They have a pretty good fit. I like them. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I'm, I'll bust out my my Vulcan ones, but if Burton's sending you, you should probably get like a whole new Burton kit and be like, look how fancy yeah. I am. I should have 
Stephanie. Stephanie, I'm going to email. If you're watching, I'm going to email you for free stuff. Who's Stephanie? Right. Stephanie? Yeah. Uh, Hauser, she is the now the global, Burton Global brand director. Stephanie. Uh, oh, wow. That's cool. Yeah. She, she was with Anon. She was, like glo she was like the marketing director of Anon Optics. Mm -hmm. And then she, she got bumped up to Burton Global Marketing Director, I think. That's or impressive. brand director. Cool. Really cool. Lady boss. Stephanie Cron is her, her married name. Mm -hmm. Awesome lady. Um, so we're doing backpacks. We are. We're doing backpacks today. Um, but before we get into the five, the ten different backpacks mm -hmm. or bags that we, that we selected. Um, I don't know. Shut up, who? Minnow. What's up, Minnow? Adam. Hello, Minnow. Mahler. He's the guy who built the Trollhagen. Oh, yeah, yeah. Trolley Bowley train course. Thanks for doing that, buddy. Power to the people. Thanks for letting me through the gate yesterday, too. Through the gate? Yeah, I had to, I had to pick up these couches. I had to pick up the couches, the tree. Incredible. Some kid busted our coffee table. That's why, we're, that's why we got these things. Are you going to get us a new coffee table? I know. Huh? I know. Someone, I mean, if someone watching... Build us a coffee table and ship it, ship it away. That'd be tight. Yeah, we'll plug you. You should. Um, <laughs> but before we get into the backpacks, uh, we have kind of three big things. Uh, number one, uh, the framed Wolf Tracks uh, fat tire bike that's usually uh, like $1,100 is on sale right now for uh, $599. That's such a good deal. Which is a huge, that. which is a huge deal. I might buy five. I know, right? Why not? <laughs> uh, and speaking of fat tire bikes, uh, Scott. Film guy, we we are still gonna ride bike. We're still gonna ride fat tire bikes from the office to Afton. We're gonna skin up, ride down, and then come back. We're still doing that. If he ran a marathon. I'm not worried about him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he'll be fine. I'll, I'll be the guy. Like maybe I'll sit in the bike cart. Perfect. Yeah, I'll sit in the bike cart and you bike there. How far away is that? Like 30 miles? At least. I looked it up. I think it's like a two-hour bike ride. That's not that bad. That's not that bad. Well, like, on bad. the way there would be fun. And yep. then, like, on the way back would be like, this is the worst. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that There's could a be lot bad. of hills in that area, too. There is. There's tons. They're, like, really, like, I mean, there's a couple steep ones, but most of them is just, like, right. a gradual, right. hellish just incline. Yeah. The persistent, long, slow grade. Yep. Yeah. yeah. So the fat potato bike's on sale. Uh, the second big thing, uh, we're doing a Arbor Draft giveaway, an Arbor Draft snowboard. We're giving one of those away, which is tight. Mm -hmm. uh, all these things can be linked below along with the product uh, URLs to these backpacks. And then lastly, we're doing a 48-hour sale. Um, spring is around the corner. I don't know about you, but I'm not exercising for spring. I should be, but I'm not. And uh, we're, we're doing a 48-hour <laughs> sale. Uh, for board shorts. So if you need some board shorts for spring, 48 hour sale starting right now. Mm -hmm. Link below. Cool. Cool, huh? Cool. Cool. Yeah. Uh, you got any other news? I don't have any news. Oh. Yeah, I don't, me neither. You know what I like about this live stuff? It's kind of lax. You know, I was looking at, do uh, you follow Good Mythical Morning on mm -hmm. YouTube? No. Great, great show. And uh, when they first, that boy Scott doing 15? Are you doing push ups? Oh, wow, look at you. He's doing 15 push ups <laughs> right now. It's February. You're way fitter than both of us. Right? Um, <laughs> so, so. Um, more fit. The Mythical Morning, more morning. Fit. when they first started, it was like, it was like this. It was just kind of like, kind of rough around the edges a little bit and then mm -hmm. gradually. We got to give people to time to join and we also just need to talk. Right, <laughs> right. Oh, that's the truth. Like you know, like not everyone's gonna like hit watch live like ten seconds after we right there, yeah. we do it. You know, and we converse. We converse well. I think and people watch, which is tight. Yeah, for some reason people always have like some some strange comments about our strange comment. It's just like this like right this right. weird loop that we do. It's good. It's the internet. It's good. It's the internet. <laughs> it's the internet. It's the internet. That's for sure. So we got uh, we got five packs or bags. Yeah, go ahead. Do you want to start? No, you can start. I feel like I always start. Oh, I'm oh. starting. Oh. Uh, I'm starting. So I'm, I'm actually going to start with. Uh, I'll give you kind of a rundown of my five picks. I have I have a tote. I have a duffel. I have a classic. I've got a fun, and I've got a riding bag. So I got five. My five bags kind of like well diversified across bag categories. Mm -hmm. Starting out number one. 
Oh my god. Oh, I yeah. wear my Yankees hat. I yeah, should've. yeah. This is yeah. You should have. Should have. This is this is a fun bag. Uh, this is a classic. <laughs> Regular backpack by Herschel. It's a um, Major League Baseball collab with the New York Yan Yankees. We have a Chicago Cubs one. I'm not going to pick that one because we live in Minnesota. We're too close to Chicago. We're too close to Chicago. Not going to give those, those guys any love. So, mm -hmm. New York Yankees. Heritage piece. Uh, 25 liters. And it holds a 15-inch laptop. So, there's only, like, basically two pockets. There's one for random little accessories. Of course, it has padded and adjustable shoulder straps. All of these bags have adjustable shoulder straps, um, but inside is uh, it's kind of cool. It has the, the Yankees logo basically all, all over inside. Um, and then with that 15-inch that laptop sleeve, it's padded along the back side, um, but it's not padded along the bottom. So when you, if you have your laptop inside, gradually set it down. Don't, don't just let it go. So that's my first pick. That's uh, the Herschel Major League Baseball collab for the New York Yankee franchise. That's right. Are you throwing hate right now? No. You throwing shade? No shade. I like the Yankees. It's yeah? A, yeah, I do. I do. I do. I have a lot of friends that like the Boston Red Sox. Yep. You didn't wear your, you wear your Yankees hat when you went to Boston? Dear God, no. Do you have any bumper stickers there that would say, like, we don't break for Yankees fans? I'm not oh, trying to die. Really? Jeez, I didn't know it was that bad. <laughs> it's that bad. Yeah. I got a lot of East Coast friends that it's, they're it's all like, like the Boston Italians fans. and the Irish people just getting angry about sports. Is that this is what happens? I think that's what happens. I don't know. Who's on the Yankees side? Huh? Who's on the Yankees side? New York. Yeah, the, I, no, no, like both Italians cities or, are so full of both, I feel yeah. like. So full of full of both. Passionate cultures. Ready? Yeah. Do you know by the year twenty I think it's twenty forty? There's going to be no minority in America? I hope so. Yeah, I think that's awesome. You're like, <laughs> there's going to be no ethical group, from what I understand, there's going to be no ethical group that uh, has more people than any I other. I love that. I would I love that so tight. much because then people that's... can stop being like right. racist and hatey. I know. And there's no minority. There's nothing right. to hate. It's just we all can love. Yeah. 2040, so, that's coming up. I'm like nine different European things anyway. So. Italian. And other yeah. stuff. This just know, explains why I'm so tan, you know? Yeah. It's a good, just like, here's an explanation. That's what, because that's all, that's the only thing people are asking. Like, oh my gosh, you're so tan, you're so lucky. Really? Yeah. People say that a lot? Yes, like literally. Yeah, I'm, I'm always white. I've got elbow freckles, like, straight up. Well, it's just nice because I never, I never really burn. I could be out in the sun with like no sunscreen for like a week and a half and be like. See, that doesn't happen to me. Fine. Yeah. If I'm outside for 10 minutes, I will burn. And then Did I'll you burn at Chili Bully? No, I, no, I didn't. Ashley said you burn at Chili Bully. Really? Yeah. Matt, or uh, yeah, Matt Simmons, he, uh, he got, he got, you got burned. Yikes. Yeah. You don't look burned. It's my face. It's my face. Uh, Not a problem. Yeah, I, I burn and then I'm white. Like there's no tan. Aw. No tan for me. Sad. That's okay. It's uh, alright. A ginger. <laughs> I'm a ginger. Kind of, Hope Kenneth is watching. Well, wait, where will the gingers go if there's no minorities? We gotta keep the gingers around. I don't know, I'm like, I'm like 2%, 1%, 2% yeah, of the population? Yeah, because that, I mean, that's, a, that's like a, it's like a rare thing. It's not a minority, but like it's a rare thing. It is. Special. Every time I reference gingerness, I like wait, give myself your beard. beard. <laughs> it's a good beard to have. Okay, Number this one. is um, this is my riding picks. This is a Dekine Heli Pro. Um, it's 20 liters. It's a little bit taller, so if you're like a petite woman, this probably wouldn't be a good pick for you. Um, I actually have a uh, like a suitcase from them in this exact print, so I thought that was kind of funny. It's really cool. Um, but so there is a way that you can like mount a snowboard on this. How do you mount the snowboard on this one? Mm. Do you know how to mount it on this one? Yeah, I think so. Well, there's two. I think there's two ways. There's two ways. It's the strap um, here, like connects across, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, you like you let the so you can you connect them by you can either do the skis here, or you can disconnect this one and this disconnect yeah. that one and then. And then it Across. just latches onto the bindings. Right. Um, and then you can do the same thing on the bottom too. Um, but this just has like everything to hold the gear for like backcountry skiing or snowboarding. If you're just riding like at the resort and going down the regular hills or like the regular slopes, like you don't need something this aggressive. But this is definitely for people who like right. are riding in the backcountry. You're going to need a lot of like um, a lot of gear that's like for safety. This also is like spine protector compatible. So there's an insert that you can put in here and that will help you with spine protection. Mm -hmm. um, which obviously safety is a priority. But there's also a lot of pockets just for like gear. Like there's a fleece lined 
goggle pocket so that way like nothing's getting scratched up you don't have to throw it in there with like any tools you might have or anything like that um, you can also put like shovels that you might need for backcountry, uh, anything like that for like regular backcountry gear. It's definitely like designed to be compatible with that. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it with this one. It's definitely got like a lot of pockets. So like obviously you're going to need like gear and like to put your goggles in here, but you also need to bring like lunch and water. So there's definitely like a lot of room in here. Mm -hmm. I think if you put the spine protector in here, it definitely depletes a lot of the space, doesn't it? <laughs> I believe so. Yeah, so if there's even like a, a case for like, um, if you change. wanted to do it, you could put right. like your laptop in here. So it's not like just for the backcountry. Like if you want to use right. it for more than that, you definitely can. But yeah, that's a nice piece. Yeah, no, it's fun. I, I like that you grabbed that because I'm always kind of between two riding packs, between the Heli Pro, this one, this mm -hmm. one, and then my, my Burton side country. Yeah. I have, I have a Heli Pro. So the, the kind has lifetime warranty. Mm -hmm. And um, and they make nice, nice, nice stuff. So great. They're travel bags, they're really stuff. Um, I have a Heli Pro from 2004 that I still have and I still use. And yeah, at 20 liters, it's it's pretty compact, has a low profile, mm -hmm. but you can put your you can put your probe, you can put your shovel, you can put your helmet. You can fit a lot lunch. in there. Right. And it's everything you need and nothing you don't. And there's tons of like little straps, so like if you can't fit it in there, you can just like clip it on with care right. and everything. Yep, exactly. Ski stuff. I think that's like a cross ski thing. I had a I had a friend who uh, used this as her yoga bag. She'd roll yeah. up her yoga mat and kinda of just like strapped inside. And... For sure. I mean it's not just for I mean anyone could use this right. really. I'm just gonna. Oh, apparently we're chucking today. Chucking stuff. <laughs> uh, number two, um, I'm, I like tote bags. I have, I have a big Burton tote. Can't remember the name of it, um, but I've had my eyes on this one. This is called the Tinder tote. Uh, Burton has a, excuse me, a backpack that's called just a regular tote or a Tinder backpack. This is the Tinder tote. Uh, it has a zip top, um, and then of course it has a stowable. Uh, backpack or uh, like shoulder straps, but these shoulder straps are not padded, so they're pretty they're pretty minimal. Uh, but I like that you can yeah tuck them away and get them out of the way. I I've been kind of becoming more of a minimalist in my life, so like not having a lot of flare and you know like things hanging off, mm -hmm. you know like bags or I, I tend to like a little bit more. So it kind of gives it a, just a cleaner cleaner look. Um, but it's 25 liters, which is Actually, pretty pretty big, bigger than your Heli Pro, um, and inside is uh, a lot of different stuff. They have a, a it's compatible with a 15 inch laptop sleeve. It has a tablet pocket and a mesh line pocket too. I know it's kind of hard to see from there. I know and it is. I like the zipper closure, and then it has like the tie downs too, so you make it like a little bit smaller if you like. Especially and if you're carrying it like a backpack. Exactly. Yep. And then the bottom actually has a kind of like this rectangle style shape. So when there's stuff in it, you can set it down. It's not. Gonna, it's not going to fall over. There's a lot more structure to it. Exactly. A lot more structure to it. This is a great little, great little pack. I almost wish it was a little bit bigger though. Really? Yeah. Twenty five well, liters. See, I like... think like keeping it at that size though makes it kind of like nicely versatile for like men or women because like. Right. I mean, I, most women typically have a little bit of a smaller frame, so like sure. for me, if it was any bigger, carrying it like a tote would actually right. be kind of hilarious. God, I see what you're saying. Kind of hilarious. Right, right. <laughs> and one other thing, when when I was kind of like going through bags, there's, we have a couple of totes in our in our, in our website. Mm -hmm. I've noticed that some of them, like the length of the bag and then the length of the straps, are it's longer than the distance from my hand to the ground. So like if I carry it like this, it's like dragging on the ground. So I like, it has good proportions when That's I carry true. it. That's true. I didn't think right. about that. Yeah. I guess I'm just so used to... Over the top. See, I don't really the put shoulder, them over. Yeah. I don't think my... Yeah, that's not going to work. Okay. Fair yeah. enough. I see you. Tinder oh, toe. Number two. aggressive day. Yeah. <laughs> um, so my next pick is the Cotopaxi Batak. Now, I do have a couple things like stuffed in this one. Otherwise, it'd very easily be something that you could kind of roll up and just like pack into a suitcase if you need another backpack right. or if you just want to bring it um, and not use it as like a carry-on or something like that. Uh, roll it up, keep it in your car, things like that. But this is definitely like a minimalist pack. It's extremely lightweight. There's tons of pockets like on the sides, um, tons of things on the front to like mount carabiners too. Uh, and then on the inside, not only is it hydration compatible, but there's a small amount of water resistance that comes with this too. Um, and the most unique thing you might have noticed right off the bat with Cotopaxi is just that it's insanely colorful. Um, so with this one, each piece is going to be totally unique. It's going to be this kind of color scheme that you see here. But for example, this part could be gray, 
this part could be purple, um, and throughout the entire thing that could be said to be true. So what you're getting is a unique piece. Um, so it's definitely not something to be like turned off by at all. It's just a complete like artistic creative outlet for the artists over at Cotopax, or the designers rather. Um, and with this too, you also have mesh straps. So like you can literally see through that. It's super, super breathable. Nice. Um, so if you're hiking in like a hot place or especially if you wanna roll this up and bring it to a hot place, uh, that's gonna be super nice. Um, and then on the inside, you have some compartments just to kind of keep your stuff separate, but otherwise it's a pretty standard, um, just kind of drop style with the zipper on the outside. But this is definitely great for like hiking, whether you're in Minnesota or you're going to like the jungle, wherever you're hiking. <laughs> this is a great jungle, jungle bag. This is a great jungle bag. No, I have a jungle bag. Yeah. I have a jungle bag. You have a jungle bag? Well, it's not specifically, but I brought it to the jungle. You did? What jungle? Costa Rica. Oh. Do you still have jungles? I'm just kidding. Sad. Yeah. No. They do. Yeah. They do a lot Isn't for nice? eco conversation. You see the monkeys over there? I did. Did you try to put a monkey in your backpack? I didn't. Sure. Holler monkeys aren't friendly and they don't sound friendly. Um, they sound like, do you have ever imagined like if the zombie apocalypse was going to happen, right? <laughs> have you Have you ever like thought uh, about not it? Not really. No. Okay. Just give me so, a hand. Sure. Yeah. If yeah. you've ever watched a zombie show, you've kind of thought about what would happen during a zombie apocalypse. Right. So like, if it happened overnight, there'd be a lot of zombies. So if you have like a million zombies in a room, that's what howler monkeys sound like. Google it. Really? It's terrifying. If you were in the zombie apocalypse, which bag of the ones you picked would you use? It wouldn't matter because if the zombies came, all my friends know this, I would be the first one to die. You die? Yeah. Right like, away? You know in a movie when the, when the, sh when like the movie starts and you're like, that person's going to die? Right away? That's me. Why? I don't know. I just feel that way. Ooh, that's a I, tough I won't thing to feel stand about. up to zombies. I won't. It won't happen. Really? You would yeah. survive, dude? No. I'd be the last guy alive for sure. That's fine. You're Someone's gotta die. It's probably me. Gosh, I'm sorry. Nice knowing you. That's yeah. okay. The zombies yeah. aren't real, so I'm not gonna How do you like know? a zombie. But I don't. What this guy look like? It looks like a zombie. No, <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right. Ah, uh, zombie apocalypse. Yeah. What was that? What was that movie that uh, Will Smith was in? The, the uh, I Am Legend. Yeah. Ugh. That movie terrified me. That's a great movie. So that would be you. Like, Actually, I'm not going to spoil that. Go watch that movie. Go watch that movie. Go watch that movie. I like the guy's dog. He's got a good dog. He's got a really good dog. Scott knows what's up. I know. All right, my third my third pick. It's a duffel. It's a okay. backpack. It's bright red. It's by Atomic. Boom, ba, boom, bing, boom. I don't know why I did that. Yeah. Um, this is uh, this is uh, this is atomic. Uh, this is an atomic uh, double. Uh, Sixty liters, pretty dang big. Surprisingly, really lightweight. It has a ripstop style material that's water resistant. It has a kind of a storm flap around the top, and then stowable padded uh, shoulder straps. You can actually tuck those things in on the inside. Again, I really like that. You can. This is a really minimal style design. Uh, Arteryx has a lot of bags. Similar to this, I just like this one better. Uh, and that's only huge. one major kind of like outside compartment or one one main compartment. There's no other like other things uh, on the outside. And then just like, is it like a thin one here? Oh yeah, you got like a thin thin pouch. Right, right. Nice. Yeah, it's like this thin terrapin style top. I'm not sure why the top is padded. Maybe the, it's padded because of the, uh, the shoulder straps yeah, are back Yeah, it's for the backpack. There. I like that they made this so padded because like whatever you're putting in here is probably right. going to be really heavy. Exactly. Like, like your ski boots. boots, snowboard boots, or whatever. It has a, yeah, it's got this big, it's got a big amount of, that's pretty big, right? I could fit like my whole life in there. I could fit in this. You could probably, I could you could probably, probably go in there. I could, no, I, Ashley might be able to fit in that. I, she's, Ashley might be able to. She's skinnier than I am. You have to bring her by and just like, See if she fits. Ashley, if you're watching this, can you try and fit in this? <laughs> Ashley, come on in. Come on over. Uh, but no, I, I really like this bag. And um, it actually comes in one of those little, like those little shoe bags, you know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. You know, like it's just this, right? You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Like it has like the strings. Uh, this bag comes in that bag. So it, even though it's a pretty big bag, nice. it kind of folds up pretty, pretty small, mm -hmm. which is nice. So the Atomic duffel bag, 60 liters, water resistant, Tollable shorter straps. Boom. That was number being three. messy. Okay, my jungle bag. Um, it's not a jungle bag. I just brought it to the jungle. It's the uh, Patagonia Lightweight Black Hole. I have the one actually in uh, black, 
But, so as you can kind of tell, it's like a shiny material on the outside. I think it's actually mm. nylon, okay. um, but it's treated with uh, a water resistant material. Um, and it has, what is it? Uh, TPU laminate and DWR on the inside. So nice. while like, as you can see on the front, there's like a water, um, water, waterproof, <laughs> waterproof zipper. I can think really well today. Yeah. It's been a day. Yeah. Um, a waterproof <laughs> zipper, but so that will keep the front pocket totally secure as well as on the top. However, they do say it's only water resistant. I kind of think personally having used it, the only real reason that it wouldn't be just exclusively like totally waterproof is just kind of the way the back is designed. So it's more like that classic mesh style on a backpack. Um, right. So it's still pretty breathable. I'm not sure if they have like another piece in here that makes it totally waterproof. Right. I literally walked through the Costa Rican jungle in the rain and everything stayed dry. I mean, I brought like my camera and everything like that, mm -hmm. but they still have mesh straps. So I gotta say like in that hot climate, that was really, really, really nice. This really? was absolutely perfect for me. I pinned so many things on here with like my carabiner, um, like water bottles and like umbrellas and just so much stuff. And on the inside, it's just one big drop pocket, um, a zipper pouch for goods. And then um, you even have like a laptop sleeve if you wanted or just like a separation. Right. But this is, like one of my favorite things in the whole world. And that's the one you have, but in black? Yeah. Same size, same everything? Yeah. Cool. And all my friends actually ended up getting them. One of them got the bigger one, and we were all like diehards for this for this product. Now. That's the one. Mm -hmm. Do you wish you would have got a bigger or smaller one, or are you happy with the size um, that you got? I'm happy with the size that I got. The person who got the bigger one definitely was like, I wouldn't get the smaller one. Right. So, right. just personal preference. Right. Again, I'm a little bit smaller, so this just worked a little bit better. But I carried mm -hmm. my stuff. Um, I carried my girlfriend's stuff, too. So, like, sure. I had a lot of stuff with me. Right. And I think you know, Patagonians, they've done a really good job with their whole line using this kind of like this nylon ripstop. Such a good job, stuff. yeah. It's in a lot right. of their products. I love it. Right. Do you have any of their, uh, their duffels? I don't. they have a black I'm hole duffel, too, right? Buy. No, I think they have some. But like this, I'll actually take out in the rain. I probably won't take my duffel in the rain. Right. But it's so nice. It's just the most durable material. Yeah. Lifetime warranty, maybe? Oh, yeah. Like everything oh, yeah. Patagonia is a, a lifetime warranty. Jeez. So. They do good things. They do good things. Good things for the earth. Yes. Hmm. Gotta love them. I hear, I hear that they, uh, they're giving all their tax incentives back to like the Protect Our Winters or some, some foundation. Mm -hmm. which yeah, because they got way too much. Right. That's cool. <laughs> yeah. That's cool. Uh, my third one is actually a, a Kota Paxi bag, too. Mm -hmm. A different one. This is 25 liters. Um, like Michelle said, you know, uh, all the panels in all of their bags are different colors. So if you decide you want this bag, you order it from hitting the link in the description below in this video, uh, you, you're probably not going to get the same bag. You might. The same, you might, but you, but might, you not. might not, mm -hmm. too. You might actually get this one that I'm holding, which makes it extra special. Uh, this is a, this is a fun little bag. Like 25 liters, a little bit bigger than the one that Michelle had out. Uh, has a rucksack a rucksack style opening up on top, um, and that's that's kind of it. I kind of wish it had like a, a flap over the top to kind of you know, protect it because if you t do get it out in the elements, um, you know, get some stuff inside of there. Well, I think like I don't know, just like feeling kind of. Just the way like the straps are designed too. I feel like it's designed for like hot climates though. Right. Like this would be perfect breathable. with how lightweight and breathable it is if you were hiking right. in like Sedona or something like that, right. or like anywhere in like the southern dry areas. Mm -hmm. Not Antarctica. Not Antarctica. Yeah, probably not Antarctica. No. But you could. No. You could. Um, but another cool thing about about the bag is that it's really it is really lightweight. Yeah. So if you travel, say you're going to the jungle, right, and you have. <laughs> You have a you have your like carry on uh, suitcase. You can roll this thing up, super small, mm -hmm. and it takes up virtually no room. Yeah. And another great thing about this is this zippered. This is called a zippered shoe pocket. It's meant for extra shoes. It kind of keeps them nice. separate from everything else. And then it has a hydration sleeve. Of course, you can put your laptop in there, uh, but that's you know for uh, water, water, water. But this is a cool little pack, and um, this this brand is really. Really popping, you know? Yeah, they're really good things. You know, they make some really cool, um, I wish we would have gotten in some of their, like, outerwear pieces, too. Because it's that same kind of, like, yeah, they have that same, like, kind of kooky colorway. That's in jackets? It looks really cool. Yeah. Maybe next spring. Maybe in spring, we probably can get some. Maybe. They, they sell really well, to be honest. Uh, a lot of people buy those things. Those? The yeah. Vodafone? Yeah, we sold out of a couple of the styles in, like, a few days or a few weeks or something. It was really quick. 
<laughs> that doesn't um, look like a backpack. It's not a backpack. It's the Burton Little Buddy. Little Buddy? Yeah, because it carries your favorite things, which is beer and cooler stuff. Or wine coolers. Wine coolers. Or white cloth. Or, or water. Or water. Or and your lunch. Right. Uh, but it's a cooler, nonetheless. Um, but it's not just a cooler. There is plenty of room in here. Like, um, there's a top pocket that's totally separate um, from the cooler. Put your cheese cooler. sticks in there. Put your cheese sticks in here, yeah. There's a front pocket. Um, you can throw, you know, your phone or whatever else you're bringing with you. So you can still use it to carry a couple things other than just the cooler. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got pockets on the side, extras or whatever else you need. And then the cooler itself actually holds... Um, a 12 pack and a 12 pack of bottles. So whether that be root beer or actual beer, um, it's a pretty spacious cooler. So it's perfect for like just going to the lake quick, maybe going in the boat, like it's something with a handle. You don't have to use two people to grab it or anything right. like that. It's not heavy. It's a soft pack. So like mm -hmm. um, you can kind of collapse it. So it's nice okay. to have a cooler that doesn't always hold. It's like, you know, hard, aggressive shape. Um, and then there's also a pocket in here too, so for, nice. for cheese sticks. Nice. But don't drop it in the woods because you won't be able to find it. You won't it. be able to find it because it's camo. It's camo. So it becomes immediately <laughs> invisible. Does it come in other colorways or just camo? This one just comes in this colorway. Yeah. You know, it was, says that there's bottle openers on here, but I don't know where they are. Hmm. I don't know either. <laughs> what's, the bottom, what's the bottom straps for? Yoga I don't mats. Know. Yeah, maybe carry yoga mats. Oh, maybe you can put everything your, carries yoga your toe. Mats. Yeah, perfect. Roll up your towel. Roll up your towel under there. Awesome. Or we'll you can put a bottle out. of wine in there. But, yes. It might slip Smart. out, though. <laughs> right. No, I like those things. Um, I almost picked the, the double beer acuda. I love beer acudas. Yeah, those things, are, those things are tight. They're really nice. All right. Lastly, uh, <laughs> I've got this thing. This is a, the, the riding pack that I chose instead of the one that you picked, the Halley Pro from yep. the kind. This is the Burton Side Country. Basically the same thing. Just a little bit different. Uh, lifetime warranty, 20 liters of uh, vertical carrying straps for your snowboard, uh, and then accessory pockets for all of your backcountry and side country needs. So you can put your shovel in here, you put your probes, or you wear your probe, but you put your, um, yes, probes, that's what I meant, mm. right? Um, <laughs> you wear your beacon. And then, of course, it has like a, a top uh, mesh line or a top fleece lined pocket for your goggles. Overall, it's, it's pretty small. This is 20, this is 20 liters, so mm -hmm. you're not going to be carrying a lot of stuff around. Uh, Ripstop style material, uh, padded shoulder straps, fully adjustable sternum strap, waist strap, so the bag doesn't move around a lot when you're riding, and then uh, breathable mesh back style padded lining. This is a nice, this really is a nice bag, and I like the colorway. And I, I think, too. yeah, it, when you're in the backcountry, you don't really want to wear black. You kind of want to stand out a little bit, mm -hmm. you know, especially if you're doing like a photo shoot. Yeah. You got to wear some bright colors, yeah. stand up, have some contrast. Did you do a photo shoot? Yeah, I'll do it. I do a photo yeah. shoot with this. Okay. Should have brought this to LBS. Just schedule a photo shoot. That's the Burton. <laughs> Side country backpack, great you little done. piece. With all your stuff. I'm, I'm, that's five for that's me. That's it. Okay. This is the Dekind uh, stashable 33 liter duffel. No, it's not. No way. It is, though. And it comes on Whoa. a cheer meter. Ugh. That's crazy. This is so sick. Yeah. I'm so. <laughs> What are you talking about? No. Really? No, I'm gonna open it. Wow. It's like a present. I actually really want to buy this. No, Probably but I should. This. Um, just because I feel <laughs> like it's just like something you can throw in your car or like travel with you and you can literally pin it on the outside and always have extra room in case you like need extra storage or whatever. It's always bag. right there. So. How What's sweet it is this? Uh, the Kind Stashable 33 liter. Okay. So there's not a lot of fuss with this. There's no extra pockets. There's no extra anything. But if you just right. need like a to-go bag, you're not really sure if you'll need to bring extra stuff or bring different stuff home, or you just live in a really tiny studio apartment like I do and you don't like things to take up space. Bada bing. Bada bing. Bada bing. And yeah. is that ripstop nylon? That looks like ripstop. Mm -hmm. Ripstop. So it'll be really durable, especially for what it is. Like you're not just buying like a flimsy, oh, it's so thin, like I can roll it. But it's cheap. No, it's actually really nice material. Oh, right. So, yeah. The kind. Lifetime warranty? On everything, yeah. Everything. 
Oh gosh. Well, that, I think that was a good session. We yeah. picked up some good bags. Good job. I like throwing. I don't know. I think that was just the mood mood for the day. It just felt just throw felt stuff. Good. Throw, throw that. I don't. I don't, no, don't want to. <laughs> no. Scott, what do you think? Was that a good one? Yeah. There's some questions. We got some questions. Don't eat answer. that. You get sick. You know what? What's up? Uh, Andrew Smith going snowboarding at Squaw Valley. Hell yeah, dude! You guys are getting dumped on. Boom. Yeah, what seriously. Clothing, outerwear. You see. Well, this is what I'd wear. If you go to Squaw, wear something that's very breathable and very water resistant. Gore-Tex if you can. Gore-Tex uh, if you can. Otherwise, like 20K, probably waterproofing for sure. Exactly. Exactly. Usually, uh, the Sierras, it's a little bit warmer. So you're not going to want, you probably won't need to wear like an insulated, like down parka or anything. Mm -hmm. But wear something, Gore-Tex or at least 20, 20K breathability, breathability or waterproofing for sure. But have fun because... Like the whole Sierra range is just crazy. getting pounded right now. Mm -hmm. Pounded. I'm jealous. Right. <laughs> Mammoth has like 100 inches right now. Oh my God. Like within the last two days. 100 inches. That's taller than me. How much? I don't know. I'm like 72 inches. Math. Right. Oh my God. 100 inches. That's big. That's a lot. That's like big as this room. Do you have to go to work then? Like how do you move? I don't know. How do you I live? How do you live? <laughs> I, have, I have a couple of buddies, uh, Ben Weiser, who's the head uh, snowboard program director and USASA director at Mammoth. Mm -hmm. He lives out there. So every time I see his stories, I'm like, dude. Yeah, they, they, shut, they have to shut stuff down. I mean, when we get like two feet here, it's happened. It's like, right. okay, maybe, th may, maybe some things will be shut down, like small right. businesses. Schools. Schools. And like driving is horrible, but like it just takes like forever. Hey, you can get somewhere. You can get How do you get somewhere with over guff amount of snow? I don't know. Last time I went to Mammoth, <laughs> uh, last season when I went to Mammoth, it yeah. was like, they, you know, so we have like our snow plows, right? They have like these snow blowers on the front of trucks that are as big as this wall. Like those big turning That's things. That's actually amazingly Dude, awesome. That's so cool. It is cool. awesome. It is awesome. You, ride, you drive down Main Street and like in the crop, you can't even see what's like outside of Main Street. Right, you like the only time you can see like down, down is like in an intersection because the snow piles are so high. So have That's fun. Insane. It is insane. Question number one. Question number two. Uh, size ten boots, twenty five point two waist width. Twenty five point two with a size ten. Fine, you're fine. Easy. Easy. <laughs> if especially if your boots have shrinkage for. Footprint reduction technology. If you're at a size 11, the 25.8 is like, I'd say minimal cutoff. Mm -hmm. Like I read a couple boards that are 258 with a size 11 boot and still I can, I can touch, you know, when I'm like in a deep car, I can feel it. Yeah. Yeah. You should be good. Cool. Um, there's a snowboard question. Sure. Attack I like banana those. up T-Rice Pro. Attack banana or T-Rice Pro? Ooh. T-Race Pro, more performance. Yeah, T-Race Pro, probably, depending if it's like H, HP or the firepower or horsepower version. Yeah. The Attack Banana, though, uh, it's I believe it's cheaper. Just get the Attack Banana. Mm -hmm. It's got a, I, I think it has a better graphic, too. Well, it kind of depends on where they're riding, too. Like, I don't know. I graphic. Think. What's that? Remember the 2020 graphic we saw? Yeah. That's Tight. I'm out of the loop, guys. This is so <laughs> What else? Um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. I mean, um, uh, someone said what up from Lake Tahoe. Sup, Tahoe? Jeez. Sup. That's Have you ridden Tahoe? No, I've never been to Lake Tahoe, actually. It's pretty tight. I would, even in like the summertime, I'd love to go there and just like hike. Dude. It's so pretty. Right. Right. It I is nice to. up there. I want to. I've been to North Star. It's North Star, expensive. Boreal, Sugar Bowl? Sugar Bowl? You can break that apple. Oh, have you seen me do that? No, but I saw that kid Come do on. it when he was on here. Oh, I haven't dude. seen you do it. Make though. sure it's not cut. You've never seen that? No. Dude, you guys ready for my, my stupid human trick? Wait, 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 wait. Make sure it's not cut anywhere. I feel confident. It's not cut. Okay. I'm gonna break, this up. <laughs> break this apple in half with my bare hands. What the heck? You're weird. I can't eat that. You're sick. <laughs> that's right. Oh my god, that's funny. Well, <laughs> that's a good episode. Yeah. Thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks for watching. This was uh, Tuesdays with Michelle. 
A Day with Michelle. A Day with Michelle. <laughs> um, again, we have um, Wolf Tracks. I'm eating with my mouth full. You are. I'm eating, eating with, with my mouth full. Oh my God, that sounds exactly like right. my mom. Ugh, sorry, I'm just talking out loud, she says. And I'm like, you mean thinking out loud? Mm. You're always talking out. That's how you talk. <laughs> the Wolf Tracks is <laughs> on sale for five ninety nine. <laughs> We're doing an Arbor Draft giveaway. Chew and then talk. <laughs> and the 48 hours and the 48 hours <laughs> and we'll see you guys next monday next monday at 4 p.m monday. central confidently monday confidently monday mm -hmm. central standard time 4 p.m 4 p.m anything else no that's it for me awesome thanks for watching if you guys can go ride have fun tag the house the house adored here yeah we want to see what you're riding yeah if you guys don't follow us on facebook go do that if you don't follow us on youtube do that Go follow us on Instagram. Mm -hmm. And there, tag us. So we can see what you're doing, yeah. where you're riding, what you're riding, right. who you're riding with. For sure. Uh, what's your Instagram handle? Do you have it on private or is it open? I don't know. I think it's I think it's on private, but you can follow me. I'll say yes. It's Michelle underscore Taby. That last you name. You spell it out. T as in Tom, A-I, B as in boy, I. And then 94, which is the year I was born. Uh, <laughs> mine is... Matt, I don't even Matt know. underscore Guff, G-U-F, one F. Is it two T's or one T? Two T's. Two T, okay. Two T's. Two T, one F. Two T, one F. Is it, that's it? There's no numbers or anything? Nah. Oh, Number yeah, one. I don't understand with a weird <laughs> last name like mine that I like couldn't find just Michelle right. Davey. It's weird. Yeah, that is weird. Whatever. 94. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, appreciate you. Love you. Leave a comment, a question. <laughs> Subscribe to the channel over there. Check more vids there. See you guys next Monday. See you next Monday. See you Monday. Bye. Good, good session. Good